and unemployment and low income and no income demons and nepotism and inflation that come against the people in the nation of Japan. In Jesus Christ's name, I bind up the spirit of bankruptcy, eviction, homelessness that come against the people of the nation of Japan. In Jesus Christ's name, I bind up the spirit of divorce and singleness, separation, um, division, strife, terrorism, violence that come against the people in the nation of Japan. In Jesus Christ's name, I bind up the spirit of lack and shortage that come against the people in the nation of Japan in Jesus Christ's name. I bind up the spirit of climate control, climate control and domination and total terrorism that come against the people in the nation of Japan in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father God, I ask that you release the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, to break all curses and hexes and witchcraft connected to disaster weather and spirits of murder and genocide and loss and robbery and theft and defeat and frustration off of the lives of all people in the nation of Japan and off the lives of the people that have suffered from the natural disaster floods several days ago in Japan this month of July in Jesus Christ's name that you will break that off of them Father God that you will break all defeat and frustration and satanic shackles and imprisonments off of the people in the nation of Japan with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name I ask that you will extend your mercy out to them Father God to the people of Japan and your graces out to them in Jesus Christ's name and for anything that anyone in the nation of Japan from leadership And from people and residents in the nation of Japan and all cities and towns in the nation of Japan and even the cities where floods did not hit, that they will repent for anything that they need to repent from, Father God, and sin, Father God, that they humble themselves before you and ask for forgiveness for their sins and repent of their sins and turn away from their wicked ways and turn to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and turn to you, Father God, and seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, Father God, and all things will be added to the people of Japan once they do that, Father God, and obey the standards and commandments of your word, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that they will serve no other gods, but they will only serve you, Father God, and that they will submit to you and submit to Jesus Christ, Father, and put their trust in you, Father God, and that they will not Submit unto themselves and other gods or to the devil, Father God, or to mammon, Father God, but they will submit to you and that they will ask for your forgiveness, Father God, for any type of dark occultism that they're doing in the nation of Japan, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and you will heal and cleanse their land as they repent and turn away from their wicked sins for what they need to repent of, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray that you will move on their hearts and open up their eyes where they need to do that, Father God, whatever area of their lives that they need to do that. In Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, because you will bless a nation that serve you and worship you and obey your word, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I just pray, Father God, that you would release your mercy and your grace upon all the people in the nation of Japan and especially upon all the people in the nation of Japan where the cities have gotten attacked through natural disaster weather. Father God, of these floods and rainstorms and stuff, Father God, that you, Father God, would extend your mercy out and grace out and favor out to them to provide for them in every way, Father God, that they need, Father God, to provide not just the medical um, supplies and and care and aid, Father God, or food or shelter, Father God, but also to provide 
peace and serenity and protection over them and to send your angels to guard and protect them, Father God, from all evil danger and harm, from evil spirit to people and from all harm, Father God, and from evil spirits, Father God, and from tormenting spirits, Father God, and spirits of oppression and depression, Father God, that you will give them hope during this time of uh, trial right now, Father God, and hardship right now, Father God, and that you will just let them know that you love them and care for them and that you would just re- embrace them with your presence and your love and your peace and joy and contentment and with your presence of your angels, Father God, your angels to comfort them on every side, every day, um, Every hour of the day, Father God, including right now, during these hours, Father God, and that you will help them to know, Father God, that they're not alone and that you will let them know for the ones that are feeling alone and very lonely, Father God, and especially the ones that have lost loved ones, Father God, and they feeling very low and lonely, that you would just uplift their spirits and Give them peace that surpass it all understanding, even though they don't understand why the storm happened. Father God, and they may be trying to figure out things or maybe not figure out things. But however way, Father God, I pray that you would just steal them with your comforting hands and calm them down in this storm. Father God, with your peace and your love and your comfort. Father God, and your serenity, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and that you will scoop them up, Father God, from any dire situation of homelessness and debris being scattered around them, and that you will send plenty of helpers, more helpers to help clean up quickly, that you will just anoint them to be able to pick up and clean up, Father God, sooner than it would be in the natural realm to clean it up, Father God, that it will be, you know, finished really soon, that you would just anoint them, their bodies and their hands to, and give them all the equipment that they need to pick up all the the mess and disaster, waste and, and debris, Father God, in their cities, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will send plenty of helpers, even in other countries, to help and and give them aid and support, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will do a miracle to rebuild and restore their cities again in Japan, Father God, with your favor, Father God, and doing the process while you're doing that, Father God, that you will miraculously provide a safe haven for them to rest and lay their head and be able to sleep and be able to at least have the basic needs of some clothing and shoes and some food, some adequate food and water and personal hygiene stuff, Father God, and medical attention and needs met, Father God, as much as necessary for medical needs and supplies and for them to get the medical uh, help that they need for the ones that have been injured, Father God, and for the ones that have been injured in this storm, that you will heal their bodies and heal any part of their limbs, any part of their bodies, Father God, miraculously and quickly, that you would give them a quick recovery, Father God, by your power, your might, and your grace, and your anointing, in Jesus Christ's name, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, I ask that you release the blood of Jesus Christ to deliver the people in the nation of Japan from any dire disaster and from any uh, misery and hardship in Jesus Christ's name connected to the storm. And Father God, that you will bring them back up on top eventually, Father God, in your timing, in your own way. But during this process, Father God, that they will get closer to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And that you will show yourself real to the people in the nation of Japan and show them that you are a good God and that display your power to them, Father God, in the nation of Japan, especially in these hard hit cities where they got, they got hit with the storms and the floods and stuff, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. 
And Father God, I just thank you for just healing them emotionally and mentally and psychically, Father God, from any trauma. Father God, from any terror, Father God, through these storms and stuff and losses and disappointments, Father God, and pain, emotional pain and despair and despondency, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And that you are removing all of this from them, Father God, the emotional despair and oppression and depression and suppression and agony, Father God. And deep hurt and pain of any losses of loved ones or losses of homes and businesses and finances, Father God. And you're healing them from the wounds of isolation and aloneness, Father God. And betrayal and separations, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. And anything that's connected to these storms that is bringing such despair to them, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. That only you can touch them in the way that nobody else can do, Father God. So I just thank you for just healing the people in the nation of Japan over the storm and these floods and over all the losses and disappointments of it, Father God, of, of, and feeling powerless in the situation, Father God. And that you will heal the ones that are homeless. And I thank you for providing quick shelter for them and refuge for them. Father, you are their refuge. You are their shelter and their habitation. And I thank you for just providing everything that they need. And you are their covering and their protector. You are their Lord, their shepherd, they shall not want. Father, you are their Lord and their shepherd, they shall not want. And I thank you that the people of Japan will receive you as that, Father God, and that they will not be mad at you, Father God, and because this storm is not your fault. It's the enemy's fault. So, Father God, the enemy is behind the storm because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So those are, that's the work of the devil, Father God. And that's what natural disasters do. The devil steals. When he causes natural disasters, no matter whether it's through climate control or engineering, satanic engineering, or behind sin, Father God, or whether it's behind your judgment, your judgment is another story, but Father God, but anyway, Father God, so I just thank you for just helping the people in the nation of Japan to turn to you. And just really look to, up to you and and count on you, Father God, and put their faith and trust in you and their hope in you because you are their only hope. You are the only one that can help them and deliver them and save them, Father God, through your son, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way for them and the only help for them, the only refuge and rescuer for them, the only deliverer and helper and healer for them in the nation of Japan, Father God. So I just pray, Father God, when you do heal the people of Japan and restore everything that the enemy has stolen from them in Japan, Father God, that they will not forget your hand of your mighty work and miracles and that they will continue to trust in you and serve you, Father God, and put you first. And serve only you, Father God, and no other gods in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you for sending laborers in Christ Jesus to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nation of the people of Japan in Jesus Christ's name. In a very powerful and effective anointed way, Father God. In the way that they can comprehend it, Father God, and receive it in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you for showing yourself real to the people in the nation of Japan, Father God. And thank you for loving upon them, Father God. And letting them know that you have not forgotten about them, Father God. Even though a disaster has struck, you are beyond and more bigger than the disaster, Father God. And you're more powerful than the disaster, Father God. And then the losses, and then the deaths, and then the damages of their homes and businesses, Father God. And you are the God of restoration and reconciliation and rejuvenation and the God of healing. 
So I thank you, Father God, for restoring everything that the devil has stolen from the people in the nation of Japan through these floods and storms for the last several days of this month of July. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and I thank you for doing great and mighty miracles in the lives of the people in the nation of Japan, Father God, that have lost a lot in these storms and that have went through a lot of trauma.